This is my Lido shawl, which is huge, and I can't fit it all in the frame. Uh, it features these um, really interesting Estonian star stitch uh, bands. So they're stripes um, with various repeats. Oops. There are stripes with various number of repeats. Um, the Estonian star stitch is really interesting. If I just hold this up, I'm hoping you can see it. Let's have a look. So can you see that? It gives you like a really interesting texture and I really, really like them. So I'm not going to show you. They're very, very easy to work. I'm not going to show you how they work. Obviously the pattern includes uh, written instructions for them, but I thought it might help to actually see a video as well. So I'm going to put this away and get my needles out. So the pattern repeat is four stitches. So I'm just going to knit the first three stitches. Now, as usual, I knit continental, so I hold the yarn in my left hand, but this works exactly the same if you knit the English way. So I'm now going to knit the next three stitches together. So I put my needle into the next three stitches, and then I wrap my yarn around the needle and pull it through, like normal. But leave those three stitches on your left hand needle, don't slip them off like you would normally do. Then I wrap the yarn around my needles for a yarn over, and then I go through those three stitches and knit them together again and then I take them off the left hand needle okay you see that so let's and then I knit one so let's try this again so I knit three together so I put my needle into the next three stitches wrap the yarn around and pull it through so I've got that stitch on my left on my right hand needle but I've still got those three stitches on my left hand needle Wrap the yarn around for a yarn over. Now if you knit the English way, a yarn over is done like that. So you end up, you just take the yarn, oops. You just take the yarn between the needles to the front. So you've got the three stitches that you knitted through here and you've got one stitch plus the yarn over on your left hand needle. And then you go in. Now I'm not an English style knitter and I'm not very good at it. So uh, do yarn over. So the yarn's at the front and then you go into those three stitches and then you knit them together again. I'm going to go back to continental knitting because I can do that. Okay, so that's the second one. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay, oops. Okay, and then I knit one. So let's try one more time. So next three stitches, put your needle into all three stitches at the same time. So just like you're doing a knit three together. Now if you're a tight knitter, this is a little bit difficult. Wrap the yarn around just as if you're going to knit it and pull the stitch. Oops, that one didn't work. Yarn through and knit up stitch. So you've got that stitch on your right hand needle. Now, don't be afraid to pull it through a bit. Don't just have it really, really tight. Just pull the yarn through a bit so it's not too tight. Wrap the yarn over for a yarn over. So if you knit the English way, the yarn over is just a yarn to the front like that, and then you carry on from there. Now I'm going to go back to knitting the continental way. So now I'm going to go into the same three stitches again and wrap the yarn around the needle and pull it through. So that's the second one. And then knit one and then I'm going to do one final one. So I'm going to knit three together, yarn over and then knit the same three stitches together. So you do three things before you take those three stitches off your left hand needle. Then I'm just going to knit the final three. Now on the next row, you're just going to knit. Now in the pattern, there is actually shaping and things to do as well. But on the next row, you're just going to knit. Now when you come to these three stitches, they are kind of grouped together. And you have to be a bit careful to make sure you knit them all separately. So just watch carefully when you're on the on the return row. So in the pattern, once you've done the two, the row, the star stitch pattern, and then the return wrong side row, in the pattern you will then change colour, do another two rows of garter stitch, and then you would do the star stitch again. I'm not going to do the two rows of garter stitch, and I'm not going to change colour, but I will just show you where the um, star stitches are placed on the next row of star stitches. So on the star, the star stitches are three stitches, and then there's one stitch in between them. I apologise if this is a bit fussy. So that's the star stitch and that's the star stitch. So that stitch is the last stitch of one star stitch. That's the knit one in between and that's the first stitch of the next star stitch from the row below. 
So I'm, those are the three stitches I'm going to use. So yarn, knit one, yarn over, and knit the same three stitches again. And then I'm going to knit one, which is the one that lines up with the center of the star stitch on the previous row. Then I'm going to do the next three, so they kind of come in between. So you've got a star stitch with a stitch in between, and then that stitch in between the previous star stitch becomes the center stitch of your new star stitch. So, put your needle in, knit them together, yarn over, and then knit the three stitches together again. Okay? Now obviously this is all written out in the pattern clearly, so just follow the pattern and the star stitches will uh, be in the correct place. I just wanted to point it out so that you know that that's what's happening. It, make, make, it makes it easy to spot if you make a mistake, if you know what it's supposed to look like. Thank you for watching. Uh, there, there are loads of other tutorials on my website www.yarnaddict.co.uk. I will put a link to the pattern below. This is the Lido shawl and um, I will also put a link to the blog post that accompanies this video tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.